Hey, I was thinking yesterday about the word study that I did, or the um, figure of speech study on hyperbole, and I talked about the phrase, up to heaven, how that's used in the Bible a lot. And then I, it later occurred to me um, a phrase that might be kind of common, that's similar. Uh, we might say, uh, oh, that stinks to high heaven. So that's like, you know... Um, it's like saying, you know, that stinks up to heaven. Like the smell, you know, it's so great. And we saw how many times, you know, when, um, basically always, when it was used, when the phrase up to heaven was used in hyperbole, it was used to express the greatness of something. And, um, and so I was thinking... Also, how heaven's like described as up, you know, as being high up. Um, that's also, that's because, you know, like up and highness is associated with like greatness and stuff. It's not because heaven's like this physical place that's like above us, you know, or that hell's this physical place that's below us. Okay, they're spiritual, spiritual places. And so, you know, hell being described as low and down in the depths and stuff, that's, you know, the opposite of, of being high and being great. So being low is, you know, like destitute and, um, so yeah, just to keep that in mind, these are, these are spiritual places, heaven and hell, and also, you know, we do know the disciples saw Jesus ascend into heaven, so people might think that, um, you know, Jesus floated up to some place to stay some place above us. But, uh, you know, I don't know all the answers for that, but maybe it was just his way of um, expressing, you know, a, a spiritual truth in, in a physical way. You know, like he did with everything else, pretty much. I don't know. Um, but they are spiritual places. And so, you need to understand that. But anyways, I thought I'd share that with you. You know, the stinks to high heaven. Maybe there's lots of other phrases that you can think of that you might use in a hyperbole. Uh, using heaven to express the greatness of something, you know. If I say this stinks to high heaven, that means, you know, it stinks really, really bad. You know, or, you know, maybe it's just something that I really dislike. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the smell, you know. Doing a certain job or something might be having a bad day and, like, you know, this stinks to high heaven. So, you know, that's just, that's a hyperbole used to express, um, you know, just great displeasure in, in what you're doing or whatever. So that's something that we might use, and uh, and I'm looking more and stuff of this Millennium Kingdom doctrine and stuff, and to refute that and to show that you know, you know, our hope is a heavenly hope. It's you know spiritual, and that's where we will spend eternity, and um, you know that our resurrection bodies are going to be spiritual. We're not going to have physical bodies again. Um, so, also, I was thinking of places in the Bible where um, it's spoken of that God is on the throne. And I'm thinking how we all might get this picture of a physical place, again, that's like above us, and like God physically sitting on a throne. But we need to remember that God is spirit. We need to remember that God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. And so, you know, I'm learning from seeing the idealistic interpretation of Revelation and, and learning um, symbolism and stuff like that in the Bible. And we see that when it talks about God's throne, it's, um, you know, the fact that God is sovereign, that God is in control, you know, or that he is the ruler and so that's the idea that's expressed in, it, in those times when it's mentioned that God 
is men- that God's throne is mentioned and stuff. Um, so I think a lot like naturally we want to put like a physical, literal application to a lot of these things. And, you know, cause that's how we understand things here on earth and stuff. But, um, I think the more that more and more that we study scripture and stuff that we can, um, we can understand it better and understand that these are spiritual things these are you know this is symbolism this is expressing you know other things um so anyways just wanted to share that stuff god bless